what up y'all I'm back with another video I'm here to talk about something new I'm not gonna touch necessarily on how hip-hop is now officially officially the most popular genre of music in uh, in music like I'm not sure if it gets the most sales but as far as well maybe not traditional sales as far as streaming and everything uh, views and listens on all these streaming platforms and just platforms that you can look at anything on like YouTube and stuff like that hip hop is now the most consumed genre of music and has the most influence on mainstream culture worldwide especially in America or pop culture in America so it's like let me just stop calling it pop culture and call it just hip hop culture instead of calling it pop unless you want to call it hip pop culture but um I want to talk about some of the similarities and, you know, what rock, metal, slash ambient, atmospheric music, and hip-hop have in common. Uh, primarily metal, rock, and hip-hop. Because, um, the thing about rock, rock and roll, just rock, heavy, hard rock, it has that vibe to it. And it makes certain people, like stagnant people, feel uncomfortable, just like hip hop does. Same thing with metal; it makes certain people feel uncomfortable. Hip hop does the same thing, just like rock does the same thing. Rock and roll, maybe not so much, but rock, metal, especially death metal, or black metal, thrash, really, pretty much every type of metal there is, and uh, hip hop. They they make people feel uncomfortable. Like stagnant people will feel uncomfortable listening to hip-hop. Some people say that's what metal's for. It's supposed to make very sensitive motherfuckers feel uncomfortable. Hip-hop, um, it's competitive sport, but it definitely makes people feel uncomfortable. And rock, heavy rock or hard rock, definitely. But there's some similarities, and, and what they have in common is hip-hop is, hip-hop is 44 years old, so it's still, it's still, like, new. Um, rock's been around longer. Metal's been around a little longer, too. It's just like, you know, what they have in common is they make people feel uncomfortable. They're kind of, they they were at one point underground, I guess hipster, back in the day, type of type of music, and they become like a culture. Like there's a there's a metal culture, there's a hip hop culture, there's a rock culture. So it's like they ha what they have in common. When people try to separate stuff. It's like you really can't separate, but so much because what you have so much in common, as far as the um, vibe that you give off in the music, like, if you listen to rock and listen to certain types of hip-hop, it's like, yo, can you tell the difference? Like, if you listen to some horrorcore and then listen to metal, can you tell the difference? Um, it's just like, like, let, let's be honest here. Some metal sounds a lot like certain types of hip-hop, especially comes out today. You can tell some of these young dudes who are making music today in hip-hop definitely listen to rock and metal without question. Like XX Tentacion. It's just like, there are more similarities and we have more in common than what you think. You know, I listen to th uh, all three of these genres of music. But hip-hop, metal, and rock have more in common than you think. Like, the way you make certain people feel, the vibe that you give off. Just the heavy, the hard-hitting, in-your-face um, attitude that rock and metal give off. That you get in that real street, cold, gritty in your face, boom bap type of hip hop. I wouldn't say grime because I don't think a grime. Well, grime is a UK thing, so it's like, you know. But you know that 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 just that that toothless, that ruthless shit, man. That aggressive hip hop, and then in horrorcore and stuff like that. It's like, can you not see the similarities that you probably get if you listen to rock or metal? And, and there's rap metal or rock. Um, there's rap metal, rap rock, you know, new metal. Like you can, some people hate that stuff. I don't have a problem with it really, um, but still, there is more in common than you think. Sound, the vibe, the way you make people feel, how people um, reject or used to reject um, rock, and now it's like, eh, whatever. I used to reject metal, now it's like, ah, whatever. With hip hop, it's 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 funny because. Even though it's the most popular genre of music, it's still uh, very unaccepted by um, people in general. Like they'll accept rock or metal before they'll accept hip hop. 
And some people, you could probably say, some people would definitely try to say, well, it's because hip hop's black music or black music. It's a black culture. I will say it's definitely primarily ran by black people. That's definitely the case. And you could, you you could play, you know, you could um, you know, um, what am I trying to say? You could um, you know, play with the idea, have fun with the thought of what if hip hop was mainly white? Would it be then more accepted, since we are in a white country, which we are? I mean, let, let's be real here. The majority of America is white, so to say that we're in a white country, um isn't far-fetched as it seems, whether you believe it or not. It's not as far-fetched as it seems. Um, so I guess you could play with that idea, you know, have fun with the thought of what if hip-hop was mainly white? What if there were all these m ms walking around and Michael Moore's? You know, all the people, the dudes who really get fucking hate. <laughs> you could say, like, uh, what if they were the front-runners? If they were the spokespersons, you know, the poster child of hip-hop. And it was mainly white. Then would it be more accepted? And if rock and metal was uh, black or mainly black, even though rock is rock and roll is originally black anyway, but still, it's not the point. What if rock and metal were uh, played and listened to, consumed primarily by black people? Would it be as accepted? You could, you could think about that if you want to, and you'd have some valid points if you said yes, you'd have some valid points if you said no, I mean, hell, you listen to hip-hop now, or if you just think about hip-hop now, I'm not even sure just how heavily, you know, I'm not sure how, um, how much of the content is consumed, prim- if it's primarily by black people now, you, I, I'm not sure, everybody listens to hip-hop, it's white people, Mexicans, well, you know, Mexicans, Spanish people, um, Asians, everybody listens to hip hop. It doesn't matter what ethnicity, what race or ethnic group that you come from, nationality, it definitely doesn't matter there. I mean, people over in Europe love hip hop, um, primarily the boom bap stuff, but they love hip hop over there. It's like, I'm not sure just how much. It's consumed by African Americans. All over the world, that's a different story, but still. Like, you gotta remember, we are in America, primarily white country, so it's like, is it that far fetched to think that maybe, maybe white people listen to hip hop more than black people now? Now that they do? I mean, we're only, what, 13, 14% of America. Just how much are we listening to? You gotta think about how much hip hop's out there. How many black people are out there? And then look at all these other races of people that are made up in America. I mean, is it that far-fetched to think that, you know, (laughs) that there are more people combined, at least, from other races listening to hip-hop than there are black people? I don't know if that's so far-fetched. I I just made this a video about hip-hop, really. Um, But still, you know, it still plays to my point. Rock, metal, uh, hip hop, they kind of have, they have that in common. The vibe that you give off, you know, how you make people feel, um, being rejected, then being accepted to an extent, uh, how you can fuse together, you know, you have rap metal, rap rock, new metal, it's like, and some people can't tell the difference between rock and metal, I'm not sure how, but if you listen to it enough, you, you know the difference anyway, but. You, it should be easy to tell the difference between rock and roll and metal, but still, um, that's pretty much all I had to say about this. What do you think about what I had to say about this subject? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Just let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So be sure to hit the like button if you like this video, share the video, and subscribe if you're new, and check the description for everything. You know, my Twitter, Facebook, all the social medias, everything. It's in the description below. And that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.